Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some ombre nails but with a twist, with like household accessories, things you can just find around your house. Well, I'm only gonna show one today but there are a few things you can do to make your nails look pretty and perfect with just household things. So like it shows on my thumbnail, of course I'm going to be use, using a sponge which I use to wash my pots with, but don't worry, it is a clean one, obviously. But yeah, they're like a pound for like a pack of 20. So you can't really go wrong, pretty much, but yes. I'll leave everything I use down below, and I am going to be using Primark nail polish because it is super cheap. You know, we're going for a cheap one today. So yeah, I've got the Optic White. Look at that, 80p. How good is that? So I feel like for ombre nails, white goes with every colour. Like any colour you want to mix it with, white is the best. Um, but yeah, so of course I'm just going to do uh, just a, like this is the base and I'll, I will do a second coat. Um, but yeah, like like what's going on right now, um, if you go over a bit on the line, obviously you go out of place, which it does happen. Um, I just get like a little stick and put it, dip it in some nail polish remover and just go over the mistake pretty much because it does happen and it's not the best. But yeah, look at that household sponge and all I'm going to do is cut off a little tiny bit on the soft side. We don't want the other side. And then getting some tweezers. These are nail tweezers, like actual like nail ones. Um, but you can just use your normal eye plucking tree like tweezers so it's fine but before going in with that I'm going in with my gel shine just to like smooth out the white before going in with um, a blue which I'll show you in a moment so this is the Primark Ice Queen blue and I'm in love with this blue it is so beautiful it literally goes with like everything and I feel like it's the perfect time of the year to wear it as well so yeah just grabbing my sponge dotted on some uh, nail polish with that real bad quality <laughs> And literally all I'm going to do is dab away. Now, you can um, do it at the bottom, the way I am, or you can do it at the top. It's completely up to you. Uh, but of course you are going to get it on your skin, but don't worry, I'll show you how to get it off a little bit further on. Uh, but all you need to do is quickly, well not quickly, just dab it on. And there's no specific way. Oh my God, I've gone a bit too far there. Oh, it does happen. I do get carried away because, you know, you just dabbing away sponging away uh but yeah don't worry we'll we'll go um but yeah literally keep dabbing until you get the uh like the consistency the 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 color what you like um and then what i like to do is get another piece of the sponge and go in with that white now you can do it this in a different way but i just like this way with the sponge because it's so cheap you know you can just cut it up um, so yeah, I'm just going in with the white and covering up any like lines I'd like to cover up and things like that. And then I'd like to go back in with the blue, then back in with the white. And when I'm happy, uh, what I like to do is then go in with the gel shine and it literally smooth it out. Like look how much like nicer that looks when you put on a top coat. It just smooths it all out. But yeah, with a with a like washing sponge this is just amazing so to get it off what i like to do is fill up the lid of the nail polish remover get a circular little cotton like cotton wool pad fold it in half and then just literally wipe it all away wait until it's kind of dry um i just feel like it just wipes away a lot more better maybe it's because of the polish maybe it's because of the polish remover just this it just wipes away so nicely uh, but yeah, just doing that on every, each of the nail, of course, you know, you want to keep going, just keep going, just keep going, keep going. And then what I like to do is get this little, this is actually a nail art brush. So just getting a small brush, even if it is like a makeup brush you don't use anymore, just a nice thin brush dipped in to nail polish remover and getting into the sides uh, of the nail just to clean up. It's more of a precise clean up, which I really, really, really like um you know because cotton wool can get absolutely everywhere especially if you have wet nails you pick up a cotton wool pad or a ball and you're like oh my god this this is just a disaster but yeah using this is just so much nicer even if you don't want to use a cotton wool pad or ball you can just use the brush and yes so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope that was an okay tutorial type 
thing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's enough information for you. But yes, if you like more of these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and I'd love it if you could subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And yes, I shall see you on my next video. I love you lots. Bye.